Lars Kral from uh, Rio, you want to make some changes in uh, sailing. What is that? I think it's getting time to bring uh, technology for the sailing sport. And looking here, the SSL, and the SSL means uh, a very good path of changes is where a lot of things are being testing to modify, to make the sailing sport more modern. And one of the things I think is very important is the starting procedure. Nowadays, uh, every kind of uh, cell phone, you can have the applicatives uh, to have uh, the uh, countdown system, and you can have also the GPS system. So the starting line, you should have to, to control the time and the distance to the starting line in a way that everyone knows how's your distance to the starting line. And if in case you burn the GPS line between the starboard uh, end and the, and the port end of the starting line, you know already you were over early. In, if you know you're over early, you have the opportunity to come back and restart and you don't uh, will stay on the race course, disturbing the whole fleet. So like the tennis sport, the volleyball, many other sports that brought technology, now uh, we need film the starting line, so then the race committee can prove if a boat was over early, and the sailors, they must know if in case uh, they were over early on the starting line, to come back and to go out of the race course, if in case. But why don't we see the change in the sailing sport? I think we don't see the changes because nowadays world sailing has a lot of influence for the jury, for the corporative uh, uh, of the jury, the private monopoly of uh, boat suppliers and even the national federations. But the power has to come from the athletes. The sovereign of the sport has to come from the athletes. And SSL is a very good moment where the athletes, they have access to propose, to discuss, to make tests on these events. And that's a change that has to come to be fair ethics on the sailing sport. So you don't think, Lars Kral, that it's fair enough today? What? It's not fair enough today. I think it's not fair enough because in a big fleet, a good start is a start that was over early the starting line, but the race committee hasn't seen you. This is gambling. So I think the starting line for every sport has to be inside the line. Nowadays, you have a big curve on the starting line normally. A lot of boats are over early. When the race committee, they subjective, they see one, two or three, four boats, they call these boats. But all the others they couldn't see, they simply go. So a good start some, uh, always is a who's starting over the, the line, but it was not seen by the race committee. So the technology has to come, so the starting line has to be fair. That's my proposal. So how do we change it? I think uh, we have to try here first with SSL. Michel is convinced this is a good system to bring. He was uh, already uh, trying to develop the technology with Australian group. And uh, once it's tested and works, like the, the trackers we use here, the technology gives you two beeps per second, so it's very precise. Much more precise than the eye of the race committee in a boat which is not anchored and you're looking like this on the waves, so it has to be tested for the goodness of the sailing sport. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Fair winds. Yeah.